Okay guys, we're gonna take you onto the Watt bike now because this is a great tool for showing you or teaching you how to really develop your pedaling action. So Ollie here is gonna demonstrate for us. Ollie, if you'd like to start. You can see on the spin scan, that's not a bad little pedaling action going on there. If he then pushes a little bit harder just on his left leg, you'll see that the, the spin goes to very dominant on his left hand side and you can see his percentage is not so good left and right. And then if he pushes harder on his right hand side than his left, you'll see the power goes out to the right hand side. So what we're looking for is really an oblong like he had when he first started. So go back to pedaling normally. And that's a really nice smooth pedaling action. If he were to just start what we call pedaling squares, so he was just pushing down and not pulling back, let's see what happens. So it goes both legs though, both legs. <laughs> Use your left leg, so it goes much more to a figure of eight. Can you see that? And what happens then when you're out on the road is your quads will tighten up because there's a lot of pressure going through your quads and you will start to really fatigue quickly. Now, if he goes back to pedaling smoothly, come on, son, you can do it. Smooth pedaling. We want to get back to that oblong shape. Come on, that's too much of a figure of eight. I want it nicer than that. So that's not too bad. So that is gonna put a, yes, you're gonna push down through your quads as we're taking you through with the pedaling action, but then he's using his hamstrings and his hip flexors, and he's learned that from the single leg drills with no chain, and that helps him just smooth out his pedaling action. And that's a watt bike for you. So it's a really good tool for really teaching you, especially under fatigue, how to hold a nice, smooth pedaling action. Thanks, Ollie.